Welcome everyone to another Trick Track arcade game video. In this video, I'm going to show you the controls of the game, explain how the game works as far as the rules, and even show you uh, the locomotives and the cars and how the game recognizes where they are. So first, uh, let's go and take a look at the game and I'll explain the rules to you a little closer here. So this is a ticket redemption game. And the object is to win tickets. And how you do that is to line your three colored train cars, a red, a yellow, and a green, up to match the signals that are randomly displayed on the back panel. Now you can see them flashing away there. Now when you drop a quarter in, the game will automatically start. Now I have a start button wired up as a free play option for this since it's in my home. So what you have to do to move the cars is move this little locomotive here back and forth and position the cars under the matching colored signal. Now it's not always as easy as you think because there are some rules to the game. If we look at the three tracks here, the first one closest to us will hold two cars. The middle track will hold two cars. It has a yellow and a green right now. now the rear track can only hold one car, the red one sitting there right now. So you have to be very methodical in how you position these cars to match the sequence. On the back here, you'll see a little timer. It's called fuel tank, and it, in theory, counts down your fuel that you have left. It's a timer. It runs for about two minutes, I believe, and it is adjustable. And you have to do all your moves before that time runs out. So, we're going to look at the control panel here. I'm going to start a game because the controls will light up, and I'll show you there are only certain times that you can switch tracks and do your moves and whatnot. So let's start a game. You'll hear the music start. Now the first thing you see is a blue button here. It's called whistle. All that does is makes a rather crude whistle sound. And you have a red button over here on this end that's lit up. It's called unhook. And what that does is it will operate five uncouplers on the track. I'll show you where those are. There's one back here and one up front here on this track. So you can uncouple two cars. On the center track, there's one here. And there's one behind the yellow car. And then you have the fifth one in the back right in front of the red car. As you can see, right now they're down. When you push on hook, they flip up, it releases the solenoid, and the solenoid pulls them back down. So the cars will no longer, they, you can roll and couple without them releasing. And right in the middle, you have this giant little joystick here, which is forwards and back for your locomotive. Now, switching can only be done when the train is in the tunnel back there. If I move it back, It'll make this crude whistle sound, and the lights will light up for these buttons here. And what these are your track positions. You can choose rear track, center track, or front track. So if I move it back, and let's say I want to go to the center track, I'm going to move this, hit the center button, watch the switch points. They click into place, and you can move up and couple to your car. And let's say, for instance, I want to put the car on the front track. I'm going to press the front button. The switch moved. I'm going to push the car into here. And I'm out of time. I did too much talking. We ran out of time on the fuel tank. So you may wonder, how does the game know where the cars are positioned? Well, if we look back on the track here, you can see there are three reed switches. A reed switch is just a small magnetic switch. Whenever a magnet is passed over, the switch closes. So you notice there's three different positions there. Well, each rail car, if we grab one here and flip it over, has a magnet under it. Each car has a magnet in a different position. So the game actually knows which car is where when they're in the magnet. Now when the cars are double up in the side and the game really doesn't care, it's only looking for the cars that are in the rear of the track. So this 
car back on. Now the locomotive also has a reed switch in the very back of the tunnel. That's the reed switch that triggers the buttons to select your track. And the locomotive itself also has a magnet positioned underneath. It's hard to see the light's so bright. There we go, that's better. Now these trains are actually Playmobil trains. This is a set that was uh, constructed in 1980 by Playmobil. And Future Leisure, I guess, decided this was the best option to use instead of LGB equipment. It was probably cheaper at the time. Now the train does have a few modifications, but otherwise it's, it's mostly stock. If we look at the rear, the coupler's been removed and the buffers have been removed. That just allows it to go farther back in the tunnel. And on the front, they have cleverly crafted a special little metal, like a latch, that the couplers for the cars can hook into. I believe on a real Playmobil, a regular Playmobil engine, there should be two buffers and another hook, or like a loop. Now if we look at the train cars, those are also they're also Playmobil, but you see the coupler's been modified. They've cut the loop off, and just the little hook is sticking out. So this allows it to easily clip right to the locomotive. Now on the rear of the cars, there is no coupler, because the rule of the game is you can only move one car at a time, so they don't want two cars coupling together. So when the cars park too deep on a siding, the coupler from the rear car simply rides under the car in front of it, and the car just remains behind. So, it's a really interesting concept, and I'm not sure how many of these games were actually made, but obviously someone who enjoyed model trains, and this actually works pretty well. It's a fun little game. If you've ever seen one of these in an arcade, if you've ever played one, let me know in the comments. I've only ever seen one of these. I believe it was back in 1992 in an ice cream shop nearby. And it was there for a few months and then disappeared. I've never ever seen one of these games in any of the many arcades I've been in. Never seen one of these machines pop up uh, on eBay. There wasn't even any YouTube videos on this machine until I started posting the ones that I did. So please let me know if you've ever seen one of these, or played one of these. And you can hear the music going off again, it's kind of a distract mode. So, uh, that's just a little explanation of Trick Track and how the game works and how it plays, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my other gameplay videos. I'll be uploading more in the near future. Thanks for watching.